straight just because the the bunch wants to look at each other they can snake across the road some they're actually great friends as well as really good teammates so I think that they're going to back Matilda for day one, but I guess it's probably bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> she can definitely push it. She certainly can, and she's just settled into a rhythm now. She's opened up this gap well. Come on, let's put one rider on the front. The other two, Mark Ruby, because you've got to get ready for that counter move. But will be a rider, Lisa Jacob riding. She's been racing really well, and the gap goes out again. But it's good to see that they're using this little hill to catch back up to Grace, and they have caught her. So who's going to attack next? Is it going to be Ruby or will she just wait for the sprint? Roseman Gannon, she jostles her way through. Alex Martin Wallace towards the line, but it's Gannon. Gannon now steps out. She has a clear path to victory and she takes it. Ruby Roseman Gannon, no mistakes at all. She timed it perfectly. Single file. It's a tough little course this, isn't it? It's got the little technical aspects. That the to still get some kind of result for the day to get some points to get a bit of exposure on TV. Bibs on Jensen Plowright. He won the Melbourne to Warrnambool middle of last year in great fashion for a sprinter. He attacked them with about a... And to make the most of this. And Lexus of Blackburn, they've been on the side of the road as he comes through each lap from his director sportive. But most of the team tactics would have been... Right from the break, they straighten up. There's well, Jensen Plowright. It looks like... Inform TMX mate towards the line. It is. It's. Boy, oh boy. Wow, that was an exciting finale. What a finale that was.